I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. This is Hit Radio, a love media station. Just one of 900 radio stations, 300 TV stations, four network, three satellites, ten senators. Thank you. Thank you. Head Thank radio. you. Thank you. Thank you. You're listening to Head Radio, the rock of Liberty City for 60 years. I'm DJ Michael Hunt taking you through another set of non-stop rock and pop. It's Head Radio. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Hypothetically, you make me all personal. It's a big difference. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Lalo, your wife, she looked like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You're not so happy. It's a big difference. Anyway, the marriage is impossible, Lalo. If a man was born an angel, maybe impossible. But a man is born not a man. Food. A man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. So he starts flirting with the secretary, takes her out for a drink. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. Oh. A wonder. But an idiot. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. Hey, you only one mentioning the prettiest part. Okay.
A man is a good father, a loving husband, the winner of bread, six and a half days a week. And the spare half day, I save his life. How? By giving him what he needs in a controlled environment. I give him passion. <laughs> what, with you? That kind of sounds like a limited market. Last night, you are very prejudiced. I don't like that. But no, not with me. Passion for life. Passion for love. Passion for women. Which he can take home to his wife. What, so you act like a pimp? Not a pimp, little man. A savior. In a controlled environment, I reintroduce the man to a pleasure he has lost, to the miracles of the world. And truly, the results are remarkable. With my unique counseling, a thousand marriages have been saved, and a million more could be saved every day. <laughs> and, and do the what? Your husband, he not make you happy? No. Protection money. Those and watch the car. Joey just fixed this junk heap. So no I fancy crap, okay? And you better wash yourself, buddy. Because for my people, we take these insults very personally. Which exotic location do you come from? I am... Uh, I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. We're in Latin. I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride, I have a calling. Many are called, but few are chosen. Wait here, get the engine running. This ain't a social call. A miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? From upstate, okay? To happy money now? I'm not real Latin, but I provide real Latin passion. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives, children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he's not happy, send him to me, Fernando. Get out of here, kid. Oh, get lost. You're just a 
cheap pimp from upstate. Get out of my studio. I saved your daddy. I saved your husband. It is a miracle. Get out of here. It's a miracle. Would you like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com The triads think they can mess with me. The triads. With me. Drop my letter. Give them something to launder. Their own blood-stained clothes. that if the current migration north continues, we will all be dead in three years? Did you want to become a bee stepper? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more people aren't talking about this. I mean, killer bees swarming, it sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees are nothing compared to ants. You can't kill them. They're like sheep. They're going to take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, fat people, what's plaguing you? Call now. Chatterbox, hello, you're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses in the city who yammer on and on. And How you doing, kid? I'm really glad you get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is herd them up and put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against the Bones. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You, you want to round people up for using a phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean, but how many people are there in this crap? Citizens are raging against phones, Laszlo. How many people? There are three of us. It's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. We've had to resort to carrier pigeons, and they keep disappearing. What are you speaking to me? No What's fancy crap. I am not the problem. You are, and you're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Liberty City is great for folks and everything. Liberty 
city was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What are you, are you, are you three years old? Lambo's a liar, Lambo's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. Shut up. You shut up. Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo-boo, stick your head in doo-doo. Oh, we're going to commercials. Is your job affecting your health? You did good back there, kid. Me and the fellas need to talk. As our personal injury attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rakin and Ponser and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Let's uh, go to the chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware that... Okay, now... This is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make... Come on, come on. Festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's going to be totally killer. <laughs> I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. I mean. Oh, man. Have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. Having workshops on finger puppets too. I love Petunia the Pinky, me Barry the Thumb, string puppets, club puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? No. Nah. Sorry, Fernando has paid his bill to our ad sales department. But you're someone who has. And they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap to all units with this narcotic data All the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet. Is your next ideal home? Liberty City? This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens oh so fair are ready. And the joys of being a feudal serf. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need at the Medieval Millennium Fair. Learn the art of cooking with turnips. Yum yum! Buy genuine reproduction medieval artifacts including maces, double-handed battle swords, and one-size-fits-all chainmail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the Internet. doesn't have to and three I mean now that I think about it if you want to try to dress a lion you can but I guess, I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair I need to know that. why Laszlo why is that you I was born naked I'm gonna die naked I'm going to live naked so there there's nothing more there for the cool wind from the north on your naked body I, I, I'm gonna have to cut you off. Don't you believe in free speech? In free expression? No, of course you don't. All you believe in is free drinks. I'm naked and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm naked and I feel so good. Well, what about winter? What do you mean? You know, I mean, what about winter? For your 
privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. <laughs> and all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in the nude? No, uh, look, is this leading anywhere? Because I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes, take off your pants, come on. Come on, Laszlo, you can be a figurehead for Liberty's hatred. We have more members now for the first time since 1977. Nudity is back. A lot of people are into nudity and really understand the spiritual side. What? I'm hanging out with loads of naked chicks. I mean, I see the fun in it, but I just think clothes have distinct advantages, like like not accidentally cooking yourself or, or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. It's not about sex. It's about being one with the world. Here comes our little friend. It's time for a public service announcement from Donald Love. Hello. Ow! Interests. We at Love Media ensure you get the truth behind the story every time. From films to dog food, from radio to pop music, you can be sure of independent quality. No, sir. Uh-uh. I'm learning him the value of good, hard work. Learning him good. If we really taught him how to clean the bathroom, he left so much one hair on the film that was off the bed with no dinner. You know what? He went to bed a hungry only 20, maybe 30 times. He learned. Now, he brings his mother lunch in bed every day so she can sleep in. Let me tell you, everyone should have their kids serving up food. He even cooks for the whole family. These days he's getting too big to be chimney, so now he's a paralegal raking and pumping. Seven and he's making magic these 23,000 a year. And on weekends, he doesn't go to the mall, play soccer, read, or do any of that kind of stuff. No, no, he works in the basement of a marketing company making photocopies all night. Hell, he'd go to sleep during the day. That's another eight grand right there. So now, I'm buying me a fast boat trailer. What do you say to that? Well, it sounds kind of like exploitation to me. Exploitation? Man, you see the heart kill me. Johnny's mine. He's my kid. How can I exploit something I own? Exploitation. Sound like a communist. Kids in Russia, they don't work. That's why everything's so messed up over there. Get the wait line for toilet paper. And their space station was made out of milk cream. I'll tell you. just had another kid. So of course we need a bigger SUV. Being a mom is hard with soccer, football, and lacrosse practice. So we bought the new Maibatsu monstrosity. It's so big. We lost little Joey in the back and couldn't find him for an hour. When I'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone, I know me and my family are safe. The Maibatsu monstrosity has four-wheel drive, and in amphibious mode, it can cross... should take these Colombian bastards.
mom, not a conservationist. The new Maibatsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Martha. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my call oh. interrogated. I just wanted to say something about the internet. You know, the information superhighway, the World Wide Web. Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I mean, it's incredible. I know a lot of people say it's absolutely a load of crap, but how could it be so dumb? It's remarkable, I think. Think of all the things you do. I mean, the two Get a good vantage point, then I'll head in when you fire the first the shot. And the name's Laszlo. I know. single men in this city. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, uh, is that Laszlo? Uh, yes. <gasps> oh, wow, I'm on the radio. How Not really. I mean, what's your name? What'd you call about? Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm Maria. You know, Maria, like Mamma Mia. Only different, you know. But, you know, men. M-E-N. <laughs> oh, it's a dirty word. Only There's only three letters. You, you know what I mean? I mean, your broadcasts are all the same, aren't you? I mean, I heard about you. You're always at a boys' night. Whoa, whoa. whoa. What, what are you talking about? I, I, I'm married. Uh, one of those convenient... on the radio? Well, probably not. Um, you're listening to Chatterbox, where your opinion matters, or at least we say that. Let's go over here to line four. Hello, caller, what's your name? Jeff from Rockford. Hello, Jeff, what's up? I wanted to tell you and your listeners about a once-in-a-lifetime chance to make a difference. There's a rally tomorrow evening at the park, starting at 7. Although we'll be painting banners and singing songs all night and all day to prepare for it. Just in from the traffic desk. She's about thousands of people walking side by side in front of the march. Only one thing on their mind. The chance to make a difference. Bring your friends. Nothing shows a man how much you mean to him more than the chance to walk together for justice. Bring your kids. They can paint signs and we'll even have a face painter and a vegan barbecue. Bring your parents. Dude, even the elderly care about tomorrow. 
I understand that. It sounds like a great rally, but we're not a political station, and you haven't really told us why people should do this. What is it about? Look, look, do you want to help or not? I don't know what I'm helping. You're helping America. What kind of patriot are you? It's a rally. You don't know what it's for, do you? It's for home. Please come, everybody. It'll be real good. All right, you fight the power, brother. Say, later on in the show, if you're into uh, health foods or martial arts, we'll have a special guest just for you. This guy... Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Huh? <laughs> you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Oh, wow. I can't believe it. <laughs> Do you have a question? Dude, I call every day and I never get through. This is amazing. You do a great show, man. <laughs> Thanks. What's, uh... That. That's why I went to broadcasting school. All right, when we come back from these messages that help supplement my meager salary, we're going to talk to Reed Tucker. It's going to be a great interview. We'll be right back. A good shoe starts from the ground up. At Aris, we make high-quality footwear. In fact, you can find Aris running shoes in over 140 countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Aris factories so you can meet some of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. <laughs> I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been on the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen, Dojo and Organic Food Market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox, Reed. Why, thank you, Laszlo. It certainly is an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, I mean it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really shouldn't be put together. Okay, Laszlo, actually, it is nothing like ice cream and pizza. Ice cream is milk-based, as we all know, and I am black pudding. My hands. It will definitely be bad for your karma. I studied the martial arts so I could stand up to bullies just like you, and I encourage everyone listening out there on Chatterbox to buy my book and learn how organic food and martial arts can help you too. <laughs> and I encourage anyone who needs a doorstop or a booster seat to buy it as well. Let's see who's on the phones. Gladwell, this is your final warning. Do not make me go into my dragon's dance. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hello, Reed. I bought your book. It really saved my life. 
Why, thank you. I want to ask about chapter 29, yoga, not yogurt. Get to the phone in West Belleville Park. I even saw the dairy on the top shelf of the bridge so I couldn't reach it with my legs in behind my head now. But I grow weak and start knocking things down with a broom. What can I do, Reed? Do not fret, my child. We are all weak. Teach, sir. Shut up, you carnivore. Why don't you go gnaw on a bone? Hey, if I've teamed up with you in Nicaragua, maybe I'd still have my arm. If you need any firepower, just drop by and take what you need from the lockers. Leave the cash under the bench. Now get out of here. I'll handle the cops.
Really, tofu with her bean curd that me? Okay, very funny lad though. You really make fun of me, but it's all the fault of the Feng Shui in here. Downright disgraceful. Yes, yeah, it makes you talk like this. Okay, the listener lines are open. This is Chatterbox. You're on the air. Hey, Laszlo. That last guy was a lunatic. You move, big man. Ah! There's no problem. Ah! There's no problem. Way to the multi-story car park seaport. We got a 10 to seaport.
stuff like like touch football. Hey, tell you. saving your marriage. We understand how two kids and a mortgage can take the passion out of your life. With our three-step program, you'll rediscover romance guarantees. Hi, my name's Phil. I've got three kids, two cars, and a mortgage. My love life is going stale, even before... Well, you'll get no argument from me. I mean, I get every inconsiderate moron in Liberty City calling into this show. I mean, people think that I have no feelings whatsoever. Exactly! Thank you for retrieving... ...up on my bumper. Good news. Good news for commuters from Shoreside. Engineers have finally managed to repair the damaged mechanism on the Staunton Lift Bridge, and it is now open to traffic flow both to and from Shoreside Vale. Megaphone rigged into their car. People are so obnoxious these days. And rude. I mean, I tell my nanny to teach my kids some manners. You know, I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello, next caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, Laszlo. Did that woman say she was a nanny? Because Freddy needs a nanny because he's been a very naughty boy. No, no nannies. Let's go to our next caller, all right. Colonel James T, United States Marine Corps, 2nd Battalion. Laszlo, that caller made a really bad one. These kids today have no respect for authority. And there is one thing that would whip them into shape. <laughs> Let me guess, the, the military. Right. The military teaches you respect, obedience, and it gives you a good pension. These kids that thought they were going to be millionaires, look where the super information highway has gotten them. Nowhere. It's a dead end. Uncle Sam takes care of his boys. And some girls. Or who join the... Freedom, James. 
After years of fighting in the trenches, I come back here and everyone's watching TV. Now, can you tell me what this Australian-American war was? I mean, I really never heard of it. God, not another one. Have you read a history book lately, son? The Australian-American war was the biggest war since the big one. I tell you, I didn't do two tours and take boomerang shrapnel in my head so I could come back here and have a bunch of hippies deny history. Those Aussies are ruthless. They even wired kangaroos with explosives. Come hopping in a camp, knock out ten guys. Well, thanks for the history lesson. All right, let's go over here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah? Is that Laszlo? Yes, it is. Who's this? My name ain't important. It's real unimportant, okay? Uh, no, not really. I mean, this is a radio show. You move, big man? Why are you calling in today? Because I need some advice. And I ain't doing any of that shrink shit. Uh, if you swear again, we're gonna have to cut you off. This is a family show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm just a little unhappy. I'm a bit agitated. Real angry. It's my mom. She don't think I'm a real man. Can you imagine that? I mean, I do a man's job and all, but she treats me like a little boy. All I get is your pa this and your pa that and you ain't a real man, Tony, and it's driving me Freaking nuts! Well, Tony... Tony? How'd you know my name was Tony? You're tracing this call? Cause if you are, you're gonna get real intimately acquainted. I mean, sir, you know, in life we have a lot of obligations, and we just kind of have to face up to them. And right now, I'm obligated to place a commercial.
Available at pogothemonkey.com. All right, Liberty City, this is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hey, you ever had possum? That's good eat. Nah, <laughs> I really can't say I had it. Well, you don't try it sometime. I tell you, man, it's good eat. Possum, raccoon, even zebra meat. It's pretty good. Uh... 
Do you have anything else to say or? Pigeons. Pigeons are good too. Sometimes they come with notes attached. It's like a fortune cookie with wings. Squirrels. Squirrels are not so good. They taste like goldfish. Do we tighten it some more? awake, the Dormatron actually exercises you overnight. Let's learn a little bit more about it. I've tried everything, and I just couldn't keep those extra 200 pounds off. It started to affect my marriage. She was too big for me, and I'll sleep with anything. The abdominatrix, the thiazide, and saw me stapling. I've had my mouth sewn up, my hands chopped off. You name it, I've tried it. Yeah, except for exercising and eating right, Bobby. That's right, honey. Then I found the Dormatron, using an... Burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband's all mine again. That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1-800-SLEEP-OFF-LARD or visit www.sleepofflard.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel better. The new Maibatsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, well, that's a good commercial. I, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lazo. Is that your real name? Huh? Of course it's my real name. Are you Hungarian? <laughs> But this show does. Ah, I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment on this show, especially if you're in our key demographic. Love Media, bringing people and the finest in entertainment together. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. suppose you're one of those people that says that diet soda makes you go crazy later in life. I told you before, man. Don't mock me. My taxes pay your salary, you pansy. Sir, uh, this is a... Child 
supper, or a family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything at work. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox is new. Get From this thing airborne! Ask your doctor about Equinox. I'm going to be sorry. Residents in Cedar Grove have been coming to terms with the emotional aftermath of a full-blown war that hit the area yesterday. Local resident Clive Denver described to police a single gunman that he saw fleeing the scene with a dark-haired woman. Oh, you know, we're gonna have such fun, because, you, know, you know, I love you. I, I, I really do, because you're such a big, strong man, and that's just what I mean. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, you know, I forget, but you know what it's like, don't you? The sound of explosions shook nearby homes as people ran for cover. Several citizens were injured in the panic as gunfire was exchanged between ground forces and a helicopter circling the dam. Yeah, we got a good view from down here in the gardens. When the copter finally got taken out, better than the fireworks on the 4th of July. With the death toll already over 20, police are still finding bodies. There have been no official denials concerning rumors that the dead were members of the Colombian cartel and still no leads as to the cause of the massacre. Can you believe it? This one cost me 50 dollars.